October 25, the earth depopulated. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I beheld the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I beheld, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. Jeremiah 4, 23-25 At the coming of Christ, the wicked are blotted from the face of the whole earth, consumed with the spirit of his mouth, and destroyed by the brightness of his glory. Christ takes his people to the city of God, and the earth is emptied of its inhabitants. Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled, for the Lord has spoken this word. Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant, therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned. Isaiah 24, 1, 3, 5, and 6. The whole earth appears like a desolate wilderness. The ruins of cities and villages destroyed by the earthquake, uprooted trees, ragged rocks thrown out by the sea or torn out of the earth itself are scattered over its surface, while vast caverns mark the spot where the mountains have been rent from their foundations. Now the event takes place foreshadowed in the last solemn service of the Day of Atonement, when the ministration in the Holy of Holies had been completed and the sins of Israel had been removed from the sanctuary by virtue of the blood of the sin offering, then the scapegoat was presented alive before the Lord, and in the presence of the congregation the high priest confessed over him all the iniquities of the children of Israel and all their transgressions and all their sins, putting them upon the head of the goat. Leviticus 16.21 In like manner, when the work of atonement in the heavenly sanctuary has been completed, then in the presence of God and heavenly angels and the host of the redeemed, the sins of God's people will be placed upon Satan. He will be declared guilty of all the evil which he has caused them to commit.